slowly now. You've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titan. escaping. Let me open your door. That's it. Quickly. You must escape before the guards return. Quickly. Follow Urgis scene. There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Arm yourself. You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. What? Who told you to find me? The Prophet. He spoke to you? What? Ha. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place, I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. Past, future. If he told you to find me, he must have had a very good reason. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. 
And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of Oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. The Sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. We must get to the Prophet's cell. The God of Brutality knows of your escape. Hurry!
never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. One fine day in the middle of the night. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Stinks of death and decay. Cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. 
Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Bal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. the divines you are safe there is that at least there is sacrificed everything that we might go free her sacrifice must not be in vain i wish that were possible but i promise you once we escape cold harbor we will find a way to rescue her together vestige that is the name i have given you you are but a trace of your former self a soulless one an empty vessel that longs to be filled it is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. Sex fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some lengthen to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. 
If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the sky shard. If we are to return to our own realm, we must act quickly. First, you must activate the anchor. I can sense a dark energy emanating from two devices on either side of me. Activate both devices. I will begin the ritual that will pry open the jaws of oblivion and allow us to escape. There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same location. Fear not, I will find you again when the time is right. Now go, activate the devices. Go 